Hello everyone, welcome back to CRGT Art channel. Today I want to talk about the Silic Tune in Medibank app. Actually, the Silic Tune in Medibank app will be the same as the Silic Tune in Medibank program on PC per person. If you already uh, watch my videos about the Silic Tune on PC version, it will uh, maybe not much different. So where you can access the Silic Tune on Medibank app, you can see at the top menu, you can click it and hold and drag it, move it to there, slide it. Yeah, here you can see the select tool appear in here. There is four types of select tool. The first one is here, it's just like the self. You can choose the rectangle, circle, drawing, straight line, and free drawing select tool. The next is one tool, and the next is pen select tool. Next is Eraser Select Tone. I will talk first about the Pen Select Tone and Eraser Select Tone. Those two is Select Tone is just the same as the Pen and the Eraser. But with that, you can say that you can use the select Pen Select Tone here to drawing. And if the place that you don't want it to be, you can use the Eraser Select Tone to erase that. The pen and eraser select tone will appear the same as the brush you have here. So eraser is soft, it will erase soft. I mean, eraser hard, it will erase hard, hard line like this. So because the same, so it will have the snap in here. You can watch the snap in the next video or you can watch the snap in the PC version, it's really the same, not much different. Okay, so I go back to the first one here. The first one is the self select tone. You will have the rectangle, circle. Um, this one it will, will be uh, drawing straight line. So what different about this one? With the rectangle and circle, you will hold and drag it. You can see there will be a rectangle appear. The white area will be the select area you're choosing the blue area will be the area that you are not select that means when you do some uh, activity here just like i will use the pen to draw see it will draw in the white area not the blue area when you're done with your uh, select area you will tap the select to get rid the blue area like this so here the same as circle, just hold and drag and release that. Then you have a select area. With the straight line, it will be a little bit different. You will tap and release. It will create the first point and next tap and release, tap and release, tap and release like this. Until you connect to the first point here and double tap. Yeah, it will create a the select area. Depend on your choice. The next one, the last one is a free drawing select tool. Yep, that means you will draw it and the place that connected line here is will become a select area. So what's next I want to talk about? Yeah, when you have a area here, but you want to select another area. You don't want to deselect, but continue to select another area. How can you do this? You can see the next thing, the off button will have the cross button. That means adding and minus in here. You choose the cross button and start to draw. That you can continue to select another area without click deselect. And the same as for the minus in here, when you drawing the area will be deselect in the part, not use the deselect here. Then when you're done with that, click off and start with your work. Then you can choose deselect. The last one in here, that one tool. One tool have canvas and layer in object in here. The canvas, that will mean it will ignore the layer. It will ignore the layer that means you can see at my pictures in here with the main a little bit, zoom out a little bit. 
you see we have two face and when I choose Canva right and I click to the blank the white space here you can see it will count as two faces in here in the same layer although it actually in different layers in here and with the layer of course it will count only the layer that contain the, the head here and it will see that the second head in here will disappear just like there's no head in here like this that's how the object work I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say and next you can see that next the object uh, of the one tool here have expand and contract actually I think the expand and contract of uh, the one tool here is really don't have much effect in painting but it will have a lot of effect in uh, drawing manga like when you adding sprint on material or something like that um, the expand when you increase the pixels in here that means when you choose the area here you can see it will expand the area and go to under the lines in here but it will be go through it to make the area is bigger with the contract will be different the contract will be make when you choose contract the area will be smaller so with that I will give you an example when you can choose you this when you're drawing manga you may have some kind of effect like uh, have a texture on the line so with the contract in here after that you can see the select tool here and choose inverse selection it will go to choose the line instead of the white area in here and then you can go to the material and put this one here and set then I deselect here is the effect that I can create with the one tool so I think that's the all you need to know about the select tool if you have anything unclear you can put the comment below thank you for watching this video goodbye